He was a gifted tennis star. In some ways, he was the original Rich Osman. An unrivaled front runner. Sampras invented the snap screen. He had the patent in 1993, but he spent so much time playing tennis, JML took it off his hands. A distinguished champion. Charlton Karamak Sampras. He won a tournament in 1996 in Nottingham. Of course, it was a heyday of Britpop. And they awarded him a Gaz Coombs wall clock. And that was the moment he knew all the hard work had paid off. He had everything. The serve, the volley, and the legendary backhand. And it was that that he used to beat up his kids. Yeah, he had troubles when he wasn't on the tennis court, but don't we all? What he was doing at 2.30 in the morning in Tesco, we'll never know. He was a major champion at 19. What's he gonna do, become a guide dog for the blind? You look at a list of the greatest ever male tennis players, and right at the top of that list, it will say Roger Federer. But immediately after him, it'll say Rafael Nadal. But outside of those top two, Sam Prass's name will be somewhere on that list. We were on a skiing holiday in Switzerland, and Pete arrived out of nowhere doing an avalanche. And he was just signing autographs and taking photos while it was happening. But, you know, that was just Pete. There was no one like him. What about Federer and Nadal? Other than those, yeah. Pete Sampras. If he hadn't tampered with my boat, I'd have been number one. Pete Sampras. He never wants to give a your sample because he doesn't even have a dick. Pete Sampras. It was supposed to be him in that car that night, not Princess Diana. Sampras, the movie. Certificate 45.